I can see situations where you have this great conversation, you both leave on a high, you feel like you're really understanding the person, and then, you know, urgent tasks get in the way, stress, outside forces, whatever the case may be, you get to a place where it's not the best possible relationship. You're actually struggling quite a bit. How do you approach that around repairing a relationship after having this great conversation where things have really broken down? So you're right. I mean, it'd be lovely, AJ, if you could have this conversation and then you're like, this now future proofs this relationship against all things bad. It's now just going to be, you know, farting unicorns and rainbows from now on. That would be amazing. And also that is not reality. So maintenance is a key phase of this relationship because it's not a maybe, it's, it's a, it's a, it will be hard at times. There will be times where you struggle. There will be moments of frustration. So the, the rule I have is adjust always. So there's a constant process of going, hey, how are we doing? How's this working for you? Is there anything we should be doing more of? Is there anything we should be doing less of? I don't ask this every single conversation I have with the people with whom I work, but monthly, I'm kind of checking in on the relationship, not just the work. Hey, how are we doing? Do we need to do anything differently? Is there anything that needs to be said that hasn't yet been said? It's repair often. So I just always repair often. I've had to learn the hard way that I need to talk about disappointments as soon as I can so that we can get through them and process them. Because it turns out I do actually hold a grudge. <laughs> I'm like, there's part of me that goes, look, I want to be this noble, selfless creature that has allows us to shake it all off and put it aside. But there are times where I'm like, I can't shake off the disappointment of this experience. And I want to talk about it. And I want to fix it because I've come to learn that willingness to fix it often improves the quality of the relationship. You know, in the, the retail experience where if, you, if you're a brand and you screw up, but you do an amazing job of fixing the screw up, people are 10 times more likely to promote your brand than if you've never screwed up in the first place. So honestly, if you're, if you're building a retail experience, you want to design a minor screw up early on so that you can then amaze them. <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, you should see how they fixed it. It's fantastic. There's, there's, a, there's a way that in a similar way, which is like if there's a minor screw up and you go, let's really get this, sort this out and repair it and make this clean and clear, that that relationship is even better because you've had that practice at repairing, you've shown that commitment to repairing. And then I think the, the third element of maintenance is reset as needed. And sometimes that is this relationship now needs to end. So how am I choosing to end this working relationship? Because sometimes they come to the end or sometimes it becomes untenable. Or sometimes it's like, you know what? We have gone badly off the rails here. <laughs> what do we need to do to almost kind of restart this and kind of get back on track and acknowledge that we're like, it's a bit of a mess here. Are you up for a reset around this relationship? You know, one of my first teachers in this was a guy called Peter Block, you know, a, a great writer in this space. And I remember him saying, talking about what he called social contracting, which is a similar idea. He said, what you, what you do and you don't talk about in that first social contracting conversation becomes the things that you can and can't talk about in all the conversations going down the path. So part of what a keystone conversation does is it allows you to keep talking about the health of the relationship. It allows you to keep adjusting and repairing and resetting as needed. Not because every relationship is going to be perfect, but in fact, because every relationship is imperfect. And what you're striving for is this best possible relationship, the best possible expression between you and that other person of a relationship that is safe and vital and repairable. Mm -hmm. 